here we have axial and coronal CT images through the abdomen and pelvis after the use of intravenous contrast. This is a 22-year-old female with right lower quadrant abdominal pain to rule out appendicitis. When scrolling through the coronal images, we come down to the cecum and the terminal ilium here. We notice already that this structure here where my arrow is represents the normal appendix. So there was no evidence of appendicitis on this scan. However, we notice already that there are multiple prominent mesenteric lymph nodes seen here along the ileal mesentery in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. Some of these measure up to one centimeter even. Corroborating that on the axial plane, we again see multiple lymph nodes in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. No significant inflammatory change was seen in this study, just prominent mesenteric nodes seen within the right lower quadrant of the abdomen and multiple other nodes studded throughout the mesentery here, as seen on the coronal image. These findings were consistent with mesenteric adenitis. Mesenteric adenitis is a nonspecific inflammatory reaction along the mesentery. Typically, this diagnosis is entertained when at least three mesenteric nodes are seen uh, that are studded together, predominantly within the right lower quadrant of the abdomen that measure at least five millimeters. Uh, it's a nonspecific inflammation of the mesentery. It can be associated with cecal wall thickening or ileal wall thickening. We did not see that in this case, uh, but it's typically a result of viral, viral ideologies or viral infection. Sometimes it can be a result of bacterial infection as well from Yersinia, Shigella, or Salmonella. Uh, the important thing about this diagnosis is it's in the differential diagnosis for appendicitis, Crohn's disease, enteritis, uh, tiflitis, and things that affect the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. But this is a self-limiting process and typically treated conservatively with no nothing done.